Hey everyone, so today I'll be doing a review slash tutorial on the Razer Blade Pro Switchblade user interface. So, what I'm going to do today is show you guys how to set it up because there is a setup process and the basic features that it has. So I decided to do this before I actually do the um, official review on this laptop itself because I haven't done that. All I did was an unboxing. Um, because I wanted to do this because um, no one has done it yet, I think, and I want to be one of the first people to do it. Um, just do note, I will be shooting on handheld, so there will be a lot of kind of movement. movement. And yeah, here's just a quick glimpse around the laptop. As you see, it's very thin. I'm not going to review the laptop, but yeah. So here's the Switchblade user interface. I'm going to call it UI, just for shorter. Um, what it is, it's, it allows you to um, access apps and use it as a trackpad. So to set it up, you will need to download this thing called Synapse. 2.0 I think that's how you pronounce it Synapse 2.0 and you can download it for Windows or Mac obviously you want to download it for Windows if you have the Razer Blade Pro and yeah once you downloaded it um, it should be really easy uh, I'll leave the description or link in the description but it should just be on razorzone.com and once you've downloaded it you should have this little screen um, is this little interface it says customize lighting gaming mode settings and apps um, you can customize um, how bright your keyboard is and so you want to click on apps to enable your um, UI so once you click the apps um, tab you, this screen should pop up right here and then it says switchblade UI manager and what it lets you do is download new apps customize it um, just do whatever you want some of the basic um, apps are like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, this one's the tr the first one's Trackpad, Razer Numpad, Macro Recorder, Gaming Mode, the Web Browser, YouTube, and so on. There is Facebook and Twitter and the League of Legends Trackpad as well as the Clock. Um, the League of Legends Trackpad you will have to download itself. Um, it was um, customized as Gmail, but I switched it over because I don't want to use Gmail. So, yeah. so, so to adjust the apps around, all you have to do is drag it over to the left side panel and just drag in the app that you want. You can download tons of apps. They have actually a quite number of apps available for the UI interface. Um, some of them are really popular and some of them aren't, but most of them are very useful. Show you guys how to get or download new apps right now. Um, just click get more apps and it should bring you up this screen with all the available apps that Razer has for you. It has Battlefield 3 trackpad, Counter Strike trackpad, Crossfire, Gimp, Maya, I don't know, Maya is, it has Mirror Mobile, it does have Photoshop and Premiere Pro, Pro Mo, Premiere Pro and yeah it has tons of more apps like skyrim trackpad star wars and just so on and so on they do have team fortress which is really popular so that's basically it and you can um see the trackpad itself it has a lcd touch screen this um trackpad so you can use this as your mouse it's i wouldn't recommend it for gaming but um it's, it works well for web browsing and stuff like that so here's um, when you click on the trackpad, it's just a black screen and that's basically it. The numpad is basically your typical numpad and it's pretty useful. And the macro recording, there's a macro recording and I'll just show you guys how each interface look when you click it. Gaming mode, you can disable certain keys so like if you're playing a game, you won't accidentally hit the windows in rage. The web browser itself, it's not the best app. I really don't like it. It's kind of hard to use, but it's still okay. Like, in a really small kind of LCD display, it has great quality and stuff. The touch screen um, on the web browser is not that responsive. And it does have pinch to zoom, but it is quite difficult to use. And I'm just giving you guys all my honest opinions because I did purchase this myself or my parents. Um, so I'm not doing a review for any company. 
the YouTube app is very nice. I like it and I use it a lot. Um, some of the basic features are home, browse, most viewed, most recent, search, recommended, watch later, favorites, and you can even sign into your account. And then you can just simply click on the video that you want and it should load up. And the quality is very well. The speakers, I will not kind of show you guys in this video because it's not the review mm -hmm. of the laptop, but it, the video works very well. I didn't see no lag, but one down thing is there are ads, um, like always, and they're really hard to get rid of because the X is really small and yeah. So that's basically if you want to play games and watch YouTube. There is a Facebook app as well. I really don't use it as well. Um, who uses Facebook anymore? <laughs> you can log in, create a new account, and basically your typical Facebook app. Um, there's Twitter. I don't use Twitter, but it's a great thing to have if you guys want to tweet while playing some games. Um, yeah, um, so basically the UI is basically like a smart tablet or a smartphone just connected into your trackpad. And here's the League of Legends app. This is my favorite app on the UI. It has so much um, champion characters. It shows all the tanks, mage champions, and so on. And it's great quality. I can't believe they made that. And then here's the clock app. Basically, the time. That's basically it. So, yeah, this is kind of my quick review and setup tutorial for the UIs or Switchblade user interface. Um, thing um i hope you guys enjoy this and kind of learn something about it um please do leave a like and comment what you guys think and please make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already it would help me out help me out a lot and i will do a desk room tour when i hit 500 subscribers so see you guys